guys, it's Dollar Dr. Jennifer, and I have another thrift haul for you. I went to the Goodwill Outlet in Charlotte, and I got 27 pounds. It was like $51 and some change. Three items are for me personally, and the rest is for reselling. Pretty excited. I think I have at least 50 items. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer video. I'm not going to do too much of an intro, but if you enjoy thrift hauls, what sold videos, and some other content I'm going to try sprinkling in, uh, definitely subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. So strap in because we're going to get crazy today. <laughs> I had a full bin and I went through it. I always go through it at the end and like kind of cut some stuff out. And when I left, I still had pretty much a full bin. <laughs> so I didn't cut out a ton of stuff. Did I need all this stuff? Probably not, but uh, we have it now. So we got to get it listed and into inventory. So here we are doing our video. So our first item is a large brassiere. <laughs> it's a pretty like bronze, brown color, shiny. One of the only brands I've been picking up lately is Cacique which I think is like a Lane Bryant. This is a 42H and this is from 2020. I haven't looked up style or anything, but it does have underwire, but it is a large bra in really good condition. I don't really see any flaws on it per se. Sometimes I have to sweater shave like these areas, but I don't think I will on this one. So good pickup large bra. Bras have been kind of hit or miss lately. I haven't been selling as many as I used to. I might do like a posh silent show with some bras later today just to see if I can get some gone before Valentine's, but we'll see. <laughs> Next, I got a scarf. Really pretty. Uh, it does have a tag somewhere. Here it is. It is Western fashion and it's 30% silk and 70% viscose rayon. So I grabbed it because it was partly silk, but it's a animal print with a black border in a black fringe, a little like crochet kind of fringe detail. And it is like, like a wrap, like, you know, a wrap, wrap, wrap. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. And then this is velvet. This area here is like a velvet. So just a really pretty scarf. I do fairly, I've been doing fairly well with scarves. It's kind of hit or miss sometimes, but if they're silk, a lot of times they do better. So I grabbed that and the bottom is actually velvet as well. This was one thing I wasn't sure if I should have picked it up, honestly, but I did. It didn't weigh very much and I'm pretty sure it will sell. It's Fashion Nova and it's a size 1X. And like a Fashion Nova 1X is like small, <laughs> but it's like a cute black and white tie dye bodycon dress with like this ruched sides and it's super soft, like very, very soft. Just like a short sleeve little bodycon dress with the ruching. So uh, I'll try and find the stock photo because that usually helps. I got a couple of kids items, not too, too many. I uh, put some back, but this is Polo Ralph Lauren, size small or eight. And it's a cute little striped polo shirt, kids. A little bit of wear and tear. I'm pretty sure Buy, Sell, Trade will take it if I don't sell it on my own. So I always pick up like Polo Ralph Lauren kids stuff if I find it. I did get one tie. The comps were like $15 to $25. So we'll see, I haven't found this brand before, but it's Lanvin Paris and it's 100% silk. And it's just like a grays and blues floral tie. Just really nice, <laughs> that's all. Uh, I didn't find any other ties this day. They didn't have very many at all, like out. So it was very kind of weird. They usually have like a whole bin of them, but they didn't this day. All right, this is, this is, I did get some heavy stuff, which is why it costs a little bit more than normal because, you know, $51 for a bin's day is a lot for me, 
but this is Fashion Nova tall breaking chains straight leg jeans size five and they are new with tags but they are a light wash jean with these like crazy heavy chain sides <laughs> so they're I guess a little bit adjustable I know someone is gonna want these I did find a partial stock photo already but I will look them up by the actual name as well because I didn't look it up by the name I just said jeans with chain sides and they do kind of have like a cuffed hem but it doesn't have to be cuffed so yeah I got this only because they were new with tags and they because they are very heavy like this is probably a couple pounds at least so those cost a little bit more I definitely won't be taking any lowball offers on those <laughs> I don't know if I should have gotten this, which y'all know. <laughs> it's Coldwater Creek. And it's a medium petite. I don't have the fabric tag. It's cut off. So I'm not sure what it's made out of. But it's a really fun, very colorful, striped. It's kind of got like some raw edges and stuff to it. Little blazer jacket. I really am trying not to pick up blazer jackets anymore because they don't do well for me, but the Coldwater Creek ones have done okay. And it's usually like the bright, crazy pattern ones that usually do better, so we'll see. These I just liked, and I looked them up and they can sell for like $20, $25. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna get them then. I wish they were my size actually, but this is Shining Shocky, size large. There's the tag, I never heard of this before. But there are a tie-dye legging, high-rise, and they've got a little bit of a bell-bottom to them. They're very fun tie-dye, and they are very soft and comfy. I would totally keep this if they were my size, but unfortunately they are not. Because, <laughs> like, these, these I would live in. These are Torrid Premium Size 20 Jegging, but they're the shorts. So, I don't know if someone did this themselves or if they're supposed to be like this. I mean, they look good, whatever, whoever did it, they if they did, it was a good job. So, I'll just provide measurements, but they're sh just a denim short from Torrid with a little bit of distressing. Almost always Torrid denim sells pretty well. This one I took a chance on. It's Tiana B, size 12. And it is um, new with tags. And the price was $86 and then it was on sale for like 22, but it's a ribbed, maxi dress black and i think it's like is it lined it's lined partially so it's lined with a short skirt and then it's not lined at the bottom and it's just like a spaghetti strap little dress i honestly don't know how much this is gonna go for the comps are kind of all over the place so we'll see <laughs> But it was new with tags and I don't have like a lot of dresses. It's not something I pick up regularly. All right, this is a size large Gildan. And the front says, I got picked and it's Garth Brooks, high friends in low places t-shirt. And it's in pretty good condition. So it looks pretty new actually, like the graphic looks pretty good. So I did get that because it is Garth Brooks. This is Anthropology 11Zs, size 10. And they're just cute little like paisley purple and orange wide leg pants. Hopefully these will do well. They're very, um, it's a very thin material. So 
we'll see. I have been trying to put measurements more on stuff now, at least a pit to pit and like some of the measurements for pants. I don't know if it's helping or not, but I figured it probably wouldn't hurt anything. All right, and as you know, I always pick up Margaritaville. This is a Margaritaville size medium. And it's a pink t-shirt. And it's Margaritaville Linear Islands on the front. And then the back is, it's five o'clock somewhere. I feel like it's kind of like, yeah, it's got like some, I think I'm going to wash this. It looks a little dingy, but hopefully I didn't see any obvious stains when I picked it up, but that doesn't mean that there aren't any, but I liked the, they always have the good graphic on the back. So put that in a wash pile. <laughs> this is another thing. I think I found a flaw after I'd already bought it. Uh, so it's kind of sad. Oh, multiple flaws now. Darn it. I may have to see if I can wash this too. Let's... And wash. And we might try and wash it for onesies. But this is a moss size medium. And it's a really cute like a bomber jacket with this fun floral embroidery all on the front of it. It's really pretty, but I found after I got it, there's like one spot here and I just saw a spot on the sleeve somewhere. So I don't know if that will come out or not, but it's just so pretty. And I really did try and check it over, but obviously I still missed it. So that goes into the wash pile. <laughs> this is a really pretty dress. I don't normally pick this up, but with, you know, like proms and different stuff coming up this year, I did pick up a couple dresses, so we'll see. And this has the, the uh, dry cleaning tag on it, but this is Ann Taylor and it's a size 18 so it's also a good size and it is 100 percent silk and it's like a green dress fairly simple it does have some texture to the fabric and then in the bottom it has like a little bit of that tool to puff out the skirt and it does have like a tie that goes around the waist so it's a good size silk dress so we will see <laughs> i'm not sure how i'm gonna be pricing that yet i will have to do some some comping i don't know where the other one is at the moment but i did find doc martens i'm shocked but they weren't like the normal these are like work shoes doc martens and they're a size six I don't know if that's men's or women's. I'm thinking it's men's, but I will have to see. The, the laces need to be replaced, but I'll probably sell the laces as is. And they are, I'm pretty sure they're leather. The bottom say Doc Martens Air Cushion Sole oil fat acid petrol alkali resistant so they definitely like seem like a work boot that's what it says at the bottom here so they do have some marks and scuffs and stuff so i will use my talk martin balm and kind of uh go over that i don't know where the other one is right now so there's one of them <laughs> But I've never found Doc Martens in the wild, so pretty excited about that. And they're a really good shoe. So hopefully these do really well. This was a really cool shirt I found. Pretty sure it's vintage. The brand is Passion. It's a size large. And it does have shoulder pads. But look at this embroidery. It's got guitars and a banjo and a violin. Yeah, a violin. 
on the front. So it's pretty cool button up uh, denim shirt. I think this one will definitely do well for someone. It's got music note, music on the top. Really fun, definitely like for, even like a music teacher, that'd be really cute. This I got, it was weighed pretty much nothing and it was new with tags. It's all in motion and it's plus size, extra, extra large. And it's kind of a fun like windbreaker, hooded windbreaker. Here's the tags. It has all the tags. It retailed for $34. It was on clearance, but I'll take off that tag. <laughs> but it's this kind of fun abstract, like rock colored type print. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's just really nice windbreaker. I am really trying this year to not just get stuff that, you know, oh, you know, like Pretty People does so good, blah, blah, blah. I'm really trying to get stuff that I like more so that I'm, what's the word? So that I'm motivated to list it because I want, you know, I want to see it go to a new home or whatever. So we'll see how it goes. This I will probably list. It might sit for a while though, but it is Jolly Sweaters, size large. I always grab these. It's a Christmas, ugly Christmas sweater, and it says, get blitzed. And it's got the reindeer with beer. And then actually, this is a pocket. This is a pocket to put your drink in. So I had to grab this one. It's in really good condition. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I might list that now. It smells like men's cologne. <laughs> I might wait. I'll probably end up listing it and just have it out there. So my friend found this. This is the first item that's for me. <laughs> the brand is, what is it? Chuck Originals. And I'm sure I could actually get some money for this possibly, but I really want to keep it. We'll see. But it's a hat. And it has cats all over it. How awesome is this? She found it and she was like, this is for you. And I'm like, it sure is. <laughs> so this is going in the wash. It says it's dry clean only. I'm like, really? You're going to dry clean a hat? No. It goes in the wash. <laughs> I found a bunch of these that day. It's Knox Rose, the brand. Um, but they're all new. With they were new with tags. This is the only one I think I got, though. It's a size extra large. And the reason I didn't get the other ones is they are too plain. I feel like Knox Rose does better when it's more of a loud print and then it has like the embroidery and stuff on it. Um, the other ones are kind of just plain, but it's a really cute little top for spring with embroidery, slight high low hem, new with tags. Then I found a lot of new with tag stuff. Some of it I put back as I was like, it's probably really not going to sell that well. Kids item, no brand. I don't think. No, it had a size 90 cotton spandex. It was just really cute. I'm taking this to buy, sell, trade. Just a little jumper. In the front pocket is corduroy, like a mustard yellow color. So that will be going to kids, a buy, sell, trade. Hoping, hoping to go this week to Basel Trade. Here's the other Doc Martin shoe. Yeah, this one's laces are even worse. So I'm just gonna put that in the listing that they will have to get new laces. And yeah, this one's dirty on the inside. It's like dusty. I just have to do a little cleanup. But again, just some scratches and stuff, but otherwise it's in pretty good condition. So again, I'm hoping to get some good money for those. This I picked up based on style. <laughs> this is super 90s to me, having lived through it. <laughs> but this is Romley, size medium, US size six. And it's a cute little like sheer cover up, but it has embroidered daisies all over it with a tie in the front. It's long sleeved. This is definitely something that like Britney Spears or Christine Aguilera definitely would have worn in the 90s. <laughs> so I just grabbed it. It literally weighs zero. So 
this I went back and forth about. My friend was like, if you're not going to take it, I'm going to take it. And I was like, okay. So I took it, but it's not my normal. I'm not sure how this is going to, how I'm going to price this. It's Rebecca Taylor, size 10. And it's a cute little, I liked it because of the, this, this part was like quilted. It's a strapless, like sweetheart neckline quilted little mini dress. Um, and it is silk. It has purple roses all over it and these big pockets on the front. So really pretty design. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. The fancy dresses and I, you know, they take a while. So we'll see. Might be one that maybe someone wants for like a high school thing or something. I don't know. This is the other bra I got. This one like is a little bit. You have to like kind of turn it in a little, but it looks like it's in really good condition. Otherwise, it's kind of like a white with gold polka dots. It is also Cacique 42H. And it's the Balconette Underwire. So just another larger bra. This one probably needs a little bit, maybe not. I was gonna say it might need a little bit of sweater shaving, but I don't think it does. So these are in really good condition. And Cacique usually does well. I do have a couple that are sitting, but they are like brighter colors. So I don't know if that matters. It might, people don't wanna wear that. I found this little tiny thing and I almost threw it back, but then I realized it was intimately free people. And that has done fairly well for me, but it is an extra small, but it is like super stretchy. So I feel like it would definitely fit someone bigger than an extra small, but it's just a cute little like cropped top. So I don't know, that'll, it probably won't bring a ton of money, but I think it'll sell. This is a, it's a, it is a smaller size though. So that's the only problem. These are Lucky Brand size four. I probably need to stop picking up. I have a ton of size four shorts right now, but these are the Abby short. And I thought they were super cute, kind of eighties look. They are blue jean short with a raw hem, but they have this really pretty floral all over them. So I got those. I need to get rid of some shorts this year. I've got like a million pairs of American Eagle shorts. I'm really trying not to pick them up anymore. This is Urban Outfitters, which I don't normally pick up, but I thought this was a really cute style. And it's a size large. And it's like a star red with stars, little crop top that ties in the front. I don't know if you can see, it has like a tie. And then it has these really fun bell sleeves that are sheer. So I thought this would, this would probably do well. We'll find out. <laughs> really cute style on that one. This is Disney Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas, size small. I'm probably gonna try and sell this myself and then I'll take you to buy sell trade if I don't, but this is, this is Halloween, this is Halloween. And it's just Jack. And I think it does do something, but I can't get it to do it well. Oh, there we go. So it does change you know, with the sequins, <laughs> but yeah. So it's just a cute little kid shirt. It'd be even cooler if it was an adult shirt. <laughs> All right, I got a pair. I think these are vintage, what I've seen on the Poshmark, but this is Mix It, it's the brand. And these are a size 10 tall, and they are a black leather pant. All leather, 100% leather. Just one little spot I just noticed, maybe. These lights bring everything out, but they're in really good condition otherwise, I think. Oh, crap. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> Oh, I think I fixed it. Nope. Damn it. The zipper's broken. Damn it. Because <laughs> these were one of the heavier things I got. 
I did not check the zipper because I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, shoot. I might have to talk to my friend Magda and see if her mom could put a new zipper in this or something. Or just tell them that they need a new zipper. I don't know. Well, that's... I was very excited about these pants. <laughs> oh, well. That might be a redonate, depending on what I need to do to them. But this is ASOS, size 8. And it's a really cute linen blend jumpsuit in like a blush pink color. And it's got like this tea back to it. Just lightweight. Well, I mean, it's kind of heavy, but lightweight. It does have a bunch of pulling in the crotch area. So I am going to sweater shave this. I was excited to see this brand, Outdoor Voices, size small. But then it did have a spot on the back that my friend says is gonna come out. So we're gonna wash them and see. But if hopefully, this I can make almost all my money back on if I sell these. I think the last pair I had, I sold for like 40. So we'll see. Praying that the these little shorts, the little stain comes out that back area. I thought it was paint, but she doesn't think it is. So we'll see who's right. <laughs> this is another one I almost didn't even pick up, but then I finally found the tag and it is Chaser, size large. And it's a really cute spaghetti strap dress with these ruffles down it. And the back is like a corset tie up back. A little bit complicated, but it is a really nice dress. So we'll see. <laughs> I still have one, sh I've only found one shirt from Chaser before and it still hasn't sold. So mm. this is all me. I'm very excited about this. Pretty sure this is vintage Norton Petite Studio, Petite Large. Remy Cotton Blend Americana Open Knit Sweater. <laughs> I know someone's going to want this. <laughs> I love it. I think it's great. And it has embroidered stars on it as well. It seems to be in really good condition. So that hopefully will go. This is a brand I hadn't heard of before, but I've been trying to look up more of the athletic brands. This is Velocity, size large, and I didn't know this is a pretty expensive brand. It feels really nice. They're just a black legging with a pink zipper detail on the hem, and then they have pockets, but nothing like crazy fancy, but it looks like they do sell well. So I did grab these. They seem to be in really good condition. So we will see how that goes. These I got for me, they're just Avia leggings, kind of cropped. I just like the colors and I need some new leggings. <laughs> this is Reebok size medium, little shorts legging type material. I just really liked the print, very bright, kind of paint splatter, tie dye look to it. They probably won't go for a ton, but they should hopefully sell fast at this time of year. This is new with tags. It's a Asian brand. It's a 2XL. It's definitely not a 2XL. <laughs> it is has like the little tag. That is the brand. I just thought it was really pretty because it's like an Asian style dress. It's got like those button little details. And it's a pretty like cherry blossom, like a half sleeve. It's very lightweight little dress. I think like someone would really like this. It's got some birds on it and stuff. And it's like probably ankle length, I would say. But it's just a really pretty dress, I thought. And being new with tags, even though it's like a Asian brand, I think it'll do well. 
This is Lane Bryant, size 26-28. And it's just a really pretty kind of 70s vibe blouse. And it's got kind of like this swooshy neckline in the front. And these fun sleeves that have like a split in them. And then it has like this, um, where is it? It has this cinch up detail on one side as well. And the other side looks to be split. So just kind of a fun, fun top, either by itself or probably layered with something underneath. We're getting towards the bottom guys. These are also for me. They're just old Navy leggings. <laughs> but they're like really soft and in really good condition. This is kids. This is 2T, size 2T. Uh, no brand that I can see, but oh, it has a little stain. Darn it, I missed it. Oh, well, I'm probably just gonna take this to buy sell trade anyway, but it's like a little bee costume or like a little dress. It looks like a bee, just really cute. So put that in the bicycle trade. Okay. I'm not sure if this is dog. I think it's for a dog, but I'm not 100%. And I don't know why this tie is weird. But it's, oh, I guess because it's pulling it apart. So it's a little, and I will put it on Remy and see if it's for a dog or a kid. <laughs> But it's like a little Superman like muscle costume. I think it is for a dog, but it's got like little legs. So I will post a picture in here if I do put it on ready. <laughs> this is Vanessa Virginia by Anthropology, size small. And just a cute little top with these little fuzzy armholes, striped, uh, nothing crazy. I, I doubt it'll bring too much, but I still have that whole thing with anthropology. It's supposed to be good. So we'll see. That was a cute top. This is Pink by Victoria's Secret, size small. I probably shouldn't have gotten this, honestly, but. It was a cute little tank top, like workout tank top. And it says, you had me at pizza. And then it's got like a little logo on the back. It is like a hot pink with a black mesh back. So, I don't know. I did just sell a Victoria's Secret tank top, like a sleep top this week. So, you just never know. The other pair of shoes I got are a Lucky Brand. They look pretty new. They're a cork wedge with this little straps with little kind of studdish type details. And I think they're a size six. I don't see like a size anywhere on them, but this one had like a little sticker still. And I think it, it says size six. So I hope that's for the right shoe. I'll probably put in a measurement just to be safe because it does not written anywhere else on these shoes. The size so which is weird oh wait here it is i just found it yeah it's a size six surprise yeah but they look brand new they don't look really worn at all so that's why i got them and they weren't very heavy either this is another kid's dress i might list this myself uh or maybe not, I don't remember. It does not have a brand. Oh, here's the tag. Oh, it didn't have a brand. It's a size four or five. So I may just take this to buy sell trade. But it's a really cute little dress with a balloon on it. Gingham with a tie waist. Oh, it's Lenore Rose is the brand. But this is all embroidered. It's really pretty. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet. <laughs> I got this. It's just Greg Norman. 
uh, but it is a four, no, three XL play dry. It is a white polo, which makes me very nervous, but it had the Chevron uh, logo embroidered on the front. So I thought I'd give it a try. Men's obviously, but again, I am very nervous that there's a stain I missed. Is that one right there? Sure it is. Well, we'll see if I can get that out in the wash. A couple more things. I got this Harry Potter muggle hat, beanie hat. And it does it is licensed Harry Potter one size is adults for 14 and older. So just a fun black beanie that says muggle on it, embroidered. I'm gonna wash that. This is Prana, another thing I don't know if I should have gotten, but it feels so nice. It's really cute style, but it is an extra small. But it's a cute little like teal, turquoise, little workout tank, and the back is kind of like a mesh. It's got a cute little cutout detail. Oh, we'll see. <clears throat> These haven't been selling that great for me lately, but it's a small shirt, doesn't weigh very much. And this was pretty heavy. This is Lulu's size small. And it's just a cute little black mini dress. This little cutout detail on the front, zip back. And then like a fit and flare type skirt. I don't think it has pockets or anything. It is fully lined. So it's just a little black dress. Everyone needs a little bit of dress. That's it. Only 40 minutes so far. So that was my haul. It was a lot of stuff, obviously. It was a fun day. I got to see Candy, Candy, Candice from Candy Customs on whatnot. She was there that day. I went with a friend, another friend who'd never been before went with me and she dipped out pretty quick. She got overwhelmed. Not her type of thing. She did find one shirt she bought for like 60 cents. I did notice too, our prices have gone up. So it's now $1.79 per pound instead of $1.59. So that's kind of stinks, but it is what it is. So thank you for staying. If you stayed for the whole thing, subscribe to my channel. And as always, remember to help control the pet population and have your pets spayed or neutered. Bye. Mm -hmm.